Speaker, thank you very much. You know, the people of Cuba are standing up for freedom, and they're suffering horrific consequences for it. They're getting murdered in the streets by the regime. They're getting killed in their homes by the regime. And what they're asking for are just a couple of things. And what, what I am pleading right now with the President of the United States is for some solidarity. And yes, he's made a couple of statements, but where is his leadership? What the Cuban people right now need is the access to the Internet that has been cut off by the Cuban regime. And what they're also, the Cuban people are asking for, they're not asking for remittances, they're not asking for aspirin, they're asking for freedom, for freedom. This president ran saying that he was going to renew a new era of diplomacy, American diplomacy. Why is he not rallying the world? Why is he not speaking about what's going on in the island of Cuba? Why is not he not talking to the democracies, making sure that everybody understands that it's an illegitimate, terrorist, murderous regime in Cuba, and the United States stands with the people and is going to make sure that the world stands with the people of Cuba as well? Mr. President, President Biden, this is the moment of leadership. Stand with the Cuban people. I yield back.